So I talked to a friend yesterday. Um, actually, it was a couple days ago. And I've heard from several friends. And all of these friends share something in common. And they're white. They also happen to be female. And they're sad for what's going on regarding George Floyd and whatever, I think we're calling her Central Park Karen, and just all the other names that we won't forget. But one friend asked me something that I've been thinking about and I'm curious about, and that is, what can I do? I'm a white person. I see what's happening, and I hate it. So what can I do? And to all of the white people that are listening to this, here is what you can do. You, not you personally, but white people invented this thing called race. White people used that invention solely to hold down the other race that they invented, which was black. Solely for that purpose was race invented. And so therefore, hatred of black people was born. We call it racism. And so I'm curious about how white people are looking at us, us, me being a black person, to fix something that, that you created and you broke. How can we fix racism when we didn't invent it? We don't perpetuate it. We didn't even ask to be here. We were stolen from our home country of Africa, tricked. Hundreds of thousands of us died on the ride over from Africa to the United States, right? And we were forced into slavery. I'm not even gonna get into all the stuff that came with that, but just the fact that you could hate someone who you brought into your house. You tricked me forced me to build this country for free and then said, oh, you're free and gave me nothing. And then you want to ha 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 laugh at me because I don't know how to, how to rebuild with nothing. When every other immigrant that came here was given help. There's a lot of anger. And this is not about George Floyd. This goes deep. Okay, there's a lot of violence happening right now and I don't agree with any of it. But not all of it is being instigated by the protesters. A lot of people are going out peacefully and you've got, there's a video going around showing the officers, the, the law enforcement people who are not de-escalating, but inciting violence. <sighs> We want to be upset about guns and the NRA and all of this, but we freely give guns to people who don't know how to de-escalate a peaceful protest. I'm, I'm just so confused. We can't fix something that not only we didn't create, we didn't break, but it's directed at us. How can I stop you when I'm on the other end of a barrel? If you hold the trigger, take your finger off the trigger. That's how you stop this. So to all the white people, my, my, my push to you is to figure it out on your own. Whatever you see happening that you support, go support it. Whatever someone says, you know, speak out and say it. I just feel like a lot of white people are surrounded by white people that if, if I'm white and I have my little white friends, right? And I know those friends don't always agree 
with how I feel, right, about race in this country, then I keep quiet is what I do because I stay safe because I don't want to lose my friends and I don't want to start anything and I don't want to cause anything. You know, my kids and their kids, they're all friends and or or I work at this place and I don't want to upset my coworkers. And it's a, no, if you are who you say you are, then you begin speaking up now. You speak up and you speak your truth no matter where you are, no matter who's around, no matter what's happening. If you are who you say you are, then you be that person all the time. And now would be a great time. Make a video. Post it on your Facebook. Type something out. Say where you stand. Say how you feel. And say what you want from your white race. That is what will be helpful right now.